Okay guys, welcome back to the Frugal Homestead. I'm Tony, and today we're going to be doing the long-term review on our 1000 watt grid tie inverter. This is one of them cheap Chinese ones you plug into the wall. Now, I want to say first that throughout this video you're going to hear sounds because it's going to kick on and off as the fan comes on and off. So bear with me. We actually own four of these. Um, this one is for the two panels that are above our front porch. This is the end of the day sun one. Now it is outside in our wood burner building and has pretty much the worst life of all of them. Our other three are inside on the wall inside our house. Now this thing sits out here with the door open. It sits out in the worst of cold temperatures, the worst of hot temperatures. It can be raining and I'll have left the door open to cool it off in here because this is a metal building. And it will literally have moisture in here that when you walk in there's moisture condensating on the roof and walls or actually on the grid tie. I am not nice to this thing. It is extremely dusty in here too. But this little guy has been going for over 18 months on this wall just pounding out wattage every day. Now mind you, this is a 1000 watt grid tie and if you want these things to last, first of all you got to make sure the input voltage is correct. As you can see, this one goes from 22 to 50 volts DC. So you got to make sure your panels match up to this. Now, also you want to stay around the halfway to three quarter point on these grid tie. The lower you go, the longer these grid ties will last. Because when people overwork them and try and put like 800, 900, 1000 watts into them, that's when they get popped because they just can't take that kind of load. So I have two GCI 285 watt panels hooked to this. So I am well below the 1000 watt limit. Now that said, I have had one of these go bad inside the house. It was not due to anything wrong with the product. We had a pole down the street and we're not 100% sure if the transformer blew up or if it got struck by lightning, but basically we went down there after something loud happened and it was actually, the pole was on fire. And we lost the TV that day and we lost a grid tie. Now, Many of our neighbors and other people in the area lost electrical items that day too. Just because the hit was so hard, it sent a surge all the way through all of our houses down the power line. Now as you can hear, it's running. The fan is just barely kicking on. We are in morning time right now, so it is just getting some off-kilter uh, light and just running a little bit. Now, in the winter time, this thing actually performs really well due to the angle that it, the panels are on. The one thing I can say about this one is, if you look at the sticker there, it's the one with the panels on one side and the fans on the other side. There's multiple thousand watt versions out there. The one that has that sticker seems to be one of the better ones. Now, I'm not saying the other ones are bad, but you just need to know that this thing's been in here running for 18 months and it has a very, very rough life. Um, when I'm cleaning out the wood burner, which is behind where I'm sitting now, ashes fly everywhere and get sucked into that fan and through that thing. I mean, it is literally just the worst possible situation and the little thing just keeps on running. And with a price tag with free shipping of $100, which I'll put the link to buying this in the description box below, you can get this off Amazon for basically a little over $100, shipped to your door for free. It's, it's a pretty great setup. Now, I will say that you need to check your local electrical code. And code. this video is just for educational purposes. You know, it... It is in no way telling you what to do. We are just telling you how these work 
and that they are solid for long-term use. And if you do electric bill and look at the savings, even if you were to lose one of these every six months, it pays for itself. So we just wanted to share this long-term review. At 18 plus months, this thing has just been going right along. A solid inverter for the money. Don't have your expectations too high and it'll do the job quite well for you. If someone was gonna just start off with just two panels and this, that'd be an excellent start to getting into solar. And without the cost of the batteries and the inverter, it's hard to beat this as a starting point. So I'm Tony, and we'll see you in the next one.